Philadelphia pulses to its own beat and the city's musical heritage has kept the world dancing for decades. Yesterday, the city of brotherly love showed admiration for its legion of singing sons and daughters at the first Philadelphia Music Awards. Tony Harris reports. The awards show tapped younger rockers like Joan Jett and Todd Rundgren and it honored Cinderella as the best new group. But it hit its high note with the first reunion in a quarter century of Bill Haley's Comets. We are innovators. I think that um, the Philadelphia sound has been in existence for a long, long time. The day-long tribute to the Philadelphia sound began with Dick Clark, who won a spot on the city's Walk of Fame. There's one very unusual thing about Philadelphia. People in Philadelphia have long memories and great devotions. Their roots go very deep here. I've often said, this is the biggest little city in the world. The night brought back dozens of Philadelphians who've gone on to music fame, all eager to pay their respects to the city where they got their start. Rock and roll and a lot of great things in, the, in, the, in modern music happen here. What that sound is, nobody knows. But immediately when you put a needle down on a record, somebody would, you know, all the time say, that's a Philadelphia sound. Philadelphians hope to shower their own with affection every year at this time. In Philadelphia, Tony Harris, Entertainment Tonight. Other winners last night included Patti LaBelle's On My Own for Best Rhythm and Blues Single, Phyllis Hyman's Living All Alone for Best R&B Album, and the group to keep your ears on, Tommy Conwell and the Young Rumblers. Washington, D.C.